Among Us home. This is the Hawthorne, everyone. This is the Hawthorne. Now it's really loud out here, so I won't do too much talking out here. Let's go see what this home looks like, shall we? Another door. I went ahead and shut the door. Again, this is the Hawthorne. I shut the door so we can get a full view of the living room. Now, this house isn't set up, uh, but I still wanted to show it to you because it's really pretty. Um, I love the, I think it's called the Valance windows over the regular windows. And this is the living room area. It's really open, um, open to the kitchen. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but this is a nice space. It has a ceiling fan here and it's just a huge space. I love the space in this room. You have your, I call it a cutout, where you walk in on tile. I like this personally because we don't wear shoes in our house. So our, your guests have a space. I'm, I'm fighting with that in my own house because they walk right into carpet and we live where there's red dirt. But I like the fact that you have this linoleum here, so, or this tile, this is tile, where you have this tile here that you can come in and leave your shoes and then you can enter the rest of the house. I also like the grade of the carpet. This is a nice grade of carpet. Um, but this is a big space. It's open to the kitchen. This is the first time I've seen this particular color cabinet in one of these manufactured homes. And I appreciate that too. I love the fact that this room has its own color. Like I would have probably made it a lighter color, not so dark, but I, I, it's something about the color. It's almost like a honey color in the cabinets. They have the pendant lighting. I love this. This looks like a granite countertop. Really nice. You have space for two bar stools. Huge, huge island. You have storage on this side of the island. And now this is granite. This is the regular um, countertop, like standard manufactured home. Um, I don't know if it's for mica or what it is, but it's two separate. But I, I like the fact that you have the dark countertops over here and the light countertop over there. This one has black appliances and it also has um, your microwave built in. Really nice. Really nice. Ample um, cabinet space. You have your side by side refrigerator. This also has the flat cooktop here. And I love the cabinets. So let's open a cabinet and see what it looks like in there. Really nice. So with these, you have lower and upper cabinets for like extra glasses or extra storage. And then you have tall cabinets over the microwave. I'll step back where you can see that. I also love the um, backsplash. It goes all the way around um, that wall and this wall. And then you have lots of lower cabinets and lots of drawers. So there's a drawer in every section, which I would love because I don't feel like I have enough drawers. I have one section in my home that has three. Um, love the sink, love the faucet here, and I love this huge, huge window. Now, again, the name of this home is the Hawthorne. Um, you won't see the pricing in any of the videos from this company. They're not allowed to post prices. Um, you would actually have to, if you're interested, they're up above Macon and Byron, Georgia. 
and you'd have to give them a call. All of their information, this is Wayne Fryer Home Center. All of their information is gonna be down in the description box. Beautiful, beautiful kitchen. Love the tile in here on the floors. And then you have this pantry. And it doesn't have the shelving in there. So I guess you'd have a choice of making this a hall closet or a pantry. I would probably make it, I don't know. My husband and I don't need a lot of pantry space. So maybe a hall closet because it's so close to the front door. Now let's see what this room is. Again, this house isn't completed. It still needs to be trimmed out. This is a huge master bedroom. Still has to be trimmed out. It, it isn't dressed, so it, there's no furniture in here, but I wanted you to see this home. Huge, huge, huge master bedroom. It has a sitting room. I love the archway. It has a sitting room. This sitting room is the size of some people's bedroom. Look at that. That is huge. Huge sitting room in the master bedroom. This is a first, you guys. This is the first master bedroom that I've shown you that has a sitting room. Let's go back so you can appreciate just how much space that is. Now, this is the master. Over there is the sitting room. Look at all that space. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, and then in here, you have the master bath, double sinks, lots of cabinet space, huge, huge mirror here for the sinks. You have your master tub, master bath's tub in the middle. Um, you have this beautiful archway for decor. You've got, please excuse the toilet in the shower. <laughs> You've got this huge shower Love the shower head. Love the tile in here. You've got a bench and that toilet will eventually go in here. The throne has a separate room for the toilet. That's always a, for using the restroom, that's always a plus. This is another huge master ba bathroom. And then the closet in this one is behind it. So I am actually in the closet, you guys. It goes across the length. Look at that closet. You have windows in here and you have two doors. So as you can see, I went in on that side and I came out on that side. So that whole space back there is a closet. Now, the difference in this closet in the bathroom is that you have doors on either side. So the closets can be closed off. Really nice, let's scan it again. So you have your double sinks over here, tub in the middle, shower, toilet area, your closets are back there. Beautiful, and then this is the utility room, which is another plus. It's off the master bathroom. You've got your back door. Your washer and dryer go here. You have cabinets and you have the bar to hang your clothes up there. The sink um, for your laundry room is over there. And you can either, you can enter from the kitchen, which is right just here, or from the master closet and this door can be shut so awesome that is really really awesome awesome i'm really impressed with these homes i see the difference in the homes that i viewed previously and in the quality of homes here and i'm really liking it so again this is the living room you've got your kitchen here that door is into the laundry room that we were just in from the master bedroom. Your dining room is here and you have the double sliding doors there. 
So you can imagine a nice size table. This would be a nice area for your dining room. Um, and you have patio doors here so you can have your nice deck off the dining room. And so your guest um, can see you in the kitchen preparing food from the dining room and from the living room. This home has a family room also or den or whatever you want to call it. This room has the, the windows above the windows. Space for your TV there. You got a bookshelf or decor area there. And this is a pretty good size room. So yeah, this would be your family room. And that's the look from your family room across the dining room into the kitchen. And this room also has the archway like we saw in the master bath. Now off of your family room are the guest bedrooms and the bathroom. So you have guest bedroom number one. This could be their guest bedroom or an office. It looks like it's gonna be the smaller of the rooms. You have a closet here, okay. So let's guess the bedroom number one. Guess bedroom number two. This is a larger room. This is a nice size room, actually. So this is guest bedroom number two. And you have a closet there. You have your guest bathroom. Toilet's not been put in yet, it'll go right there. Tub and shower combination. And then you have two sinks in this bathroom, which is typical because this is a four bedroom. And y'all don't be turned off. I, I know that the toilets are, have not been put in. This is the second bathroom where the toilet was um, sitting somewhere that it wasn't supposed to be. I actually showed a house that isn't wasn't ready to be shown yet. It's put together, but in a lot of ways it's not trimmed out um, and it's not fully installed. If it if it was, it would be dressed, meaning that it would have furniture in it. So just imagine like when your home comes, it could look like this on your property. At some point, everything will go back the way it's supposed to go. So I just wanted you to have an idea because this is my first time visiting um, let me turn it around. This is my first time visiting this home center. I'm really excited about the beautiful homes that they have. And I just wanted to give you an idea of what these homes look like. So I know that the toilets are not in the place that they're supposed to be. This house doesn't have furniture, etc. but just see the vision, see what the homes could, the home could be, right? Because when you go visit these places, sometimes that's what you find and you have to imagine what it would look like trimmed out so but anyway um so yeah this is the guest bathroom and this is be guest bedroom number four and i was saying uh, before i interrupted myself that two sinks in the bathroom this is this is typical because in the guest bathroom is typical because you have four bedrooms so you have three guest bedrooms and you want to have space for all of the kids to get ready for school in the morning <laughs> now this is um guest bedroom number three um and i'll walk around and get let you take a look at the size i think this is the biggest bedroom it may be the same size as the guest bed bedroom number two but this is a nice size room and then this is the closet Okay, all right, I'll go back over here and scan it one more time. 
So you have one, two, three bedrooms over here, guest bathroom, right off of the family room, right? Right off of the family room. And then you have your dining room, kitchen, beautiful kitchen. I love the color of those cabinets. I'm sure I've said that already. And your living room and then your master bedroom. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Again, this is the Hawthorne.